Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today we paint a lava base and a daemon like a fire elemental daemon coming out of the ground. The groundwork is made up of blue foam as usual and a few pebbles. And then we're going to apply some black lava asphalt texture paint so that it, it blends everything together and adds texture to the blue foam. Once this dries, the texture paint dries, we prime with surface primer. We thin this one is to one with my thinning sauce, apply in roughly around two thin coats and we're good to go. Now once the black primer is dry, we paint with German red brown. You could also paint with hull red, any dark red that would like help you with uh, hand painting later because painting over black takes time. So we're kind of cutting it or we're making it faster, the painting faster. So we're painting a base color of German red brown. Of course, you can hand paint the red brown or the hull red, but we're trying to paint this faster. So we just airbrushed it. So now we use Mecha Pure White. I'm hand painting it over the deepest like crevice of the crack on the ground. But after painting it and letting it dry, we'll, we're going to use the airbrush to like um, do the gradations of the white paint. Normally, I thin air paints and mecha colors, three parts paint and one part thinning sauce. But for this one, I think I thinned it around four parts mecha pure white and one part thinning sauce. Now we paint Mecha Red. Mecha Red, I thinned around three parts paint and one part thinning sauce. It's super red, super bright. I think it's a bit brighter than Game Air Bloody Red. So it's really nice for, for this project. You can hand paint Mecha Red or model color Dark Vermilion for this one. But again, we're, we're trying to make the painting faster for this model. Now I want to bring out some details, especially to the demon. So I mix sepia ink and black ink and painted it all over the model, all over the base actually. I apply the inks in two thin coats. I thinned it a bit with water, maybe roughly around two parts ink and one part water, and then let dry in between coats. Now we put the demon base aside and paint a lava base. The lava base is all hand painted so we start with dark vermilion this one i think i applied in three thin coats to get a full coverage over like a red brown color or maybe a hull red now going back to the daemon base i use the same dark vermilion color to paint like stipple some small areas with dark vermilion it gives like a fiery feel to the whole base because airbrush is too smooth now we use the same color to give more highlights to the daemon it's too flat it's too like red brown so this will also serve as the base color for some lighter orange and yellow colors we're building up thin layers here because the red grass wet palette will like automatically thin your paint so we're building thin layers and then put more on the groundwork area where the daemon will come out make sure to let dry in between coats because you'll produce really ugly textures if you keep on painting over wet paint now we use amaranth red this is my fav orange i really have to discover a new orange at some point because i'm using this so much but it's it because it's really nice now we're painting stipples around the edges of the groundwork and also of course around the main like the main center of the crack apply in two thin coats let dry and put this aside and let's go back to the lava base we use dark vermilion again to dry brush around the edges of the lava base this would serve as a, well basically a reflection of the lava to the groundwork just build up thin colors like i think i applied two thin coats here two passes and then we move on to amaranth red i don't blend the red and the orange too much when it comes to lava bases because i like the contrast in between colors it gives me a fiery look 
to the painting blending it will like diffuse the contrast and i do not like the look now we paint game color gold yellow i really like this color it's very bright yet has an orange tint to it so we're not blending this with the orange again because again i like the very contrasting colors the it it gives like a fiery look if you don't blend them again my rgg wet palette thins the paints for me so i applied this in three thin coats stippling it around the base so that it looks like a crackling fire if if you just paint it over like with flatly or, or blend it it won't look like fire using the same color game color gold yellow we're going back to the daemon base painting along the crack the main crack center of the crack of the groundwork and some reflection to the daemon itself now we paint a ton of yellow at the front of the daemon because these are the reflection from the lava from the crack itself so we build up thin colors and then make sure that the daemon looks like it's glowing because of the light coming out of the crack i think this is around three to four thin coats already at this point so let the wet palette thin your paints automatically and just build up thin layers you will get nice blending with this technique so you don't really have to add more water because yellow is a bit transparent in the first place now we paint with ice ice yellow so no i just ice yellow so this is a great paint um it looks like it's yellow plus ivory then they came up with the perfect anyway they came up with the perfect yellow perfect in terms of using it as highlights so you could actually you make make, make this look hotter by using ivory but for some reason i like the look already so i'm just applying in roughly around two thin coats painting around the edges you know if you notice i like really light colors around the edges of my base because once i paint the black rim of the base it creates a really nice contrast even with simple groundwork like simple brown colors i usually dry brush the edges and then once i paint the black rim it looks really really nice now painting some speckles like this would be really small rocks with hull red around the edges around near the groundwork so i painted black with the bigger base i don't like it it's too harsh so i decided to use hull red again you could paint model color ivory around the edges like super thin layers or small speckles around the edges it will make it look hotter but for some reason i'm happy with the ice ice yellow now we're using ice yellow to add more like hot spots to the daemon base also doing some stippling around the groundwork to make it look more fiery i have an official video at the valeo channel of the painting of the base of the warlord i made a huge mistake by not varnishing the crackle medium after so i had to repaint it here but did not record on video that's it we're done i think i spent a around 20 minutes on the daemon base so it's really easy stuff so like comment subscribe and do visit my website saludos I am Don, welcome to my channel.